Hello everybody. I wanted to give you an update on how Trisha and her husband are doing and how their area of Oregon is is doing. They're in Lynn County, she told me. All right, she said, "Yes, indeed, praising God. The smell of smoke is very strong, almost suffocating." outside I don't know how anyone could safely breathe out there much prayer needed for the displaced and all emergency workers our firemen are stretched stretched thin usually other states come to help and we help them but the entire west coast is on fire says look on your computer to see the Pacific Ocean now so many hurting people no room for any pets now those not in the shelter are left on their own oh I can't stand the thought of that that is so sad she's that oh, that was me she says, very sad situation. Um, or she was just telling, reminding me that they didn't have a truck. They had, they were very blessed to be able to get a new, a newer Toyota van. And the seat is much more comfortable. She does have to travel in it. So, you know, I remember, I remembered that after she, reminded me okay <laughs> okay so she said it's much better than riding in a sitting position because it goes back so far all right please include in your prayers all those who no longer have any vehicle and have pets to worry about while emergency services may help to evacuate humans, the pets now are left behind. It's tragic, but cannot be helped. There simply isn't room for all, not even all humans. So prompt action is critical if you need a shelter and have a pet. Please inform people of this. They are not planning. They wait too long, hoping nothing bad happens. I can guarantee that we will see earthquakes, floods, fires, and much more in the days ahead. We all need a plan. Yeah, my plan is to go straight up. I just don't believe the bride's going to go through it. We've been through our tribulation who can say amen to that? Isn't that the point of the tribulation? To get the ones who've been living in the world and loving the world and, and people more than God. They need to be refined. They need to have the, what is it, the dross burned off, the silver, or whatever the expression is. They need to go through some stuff to see if their faith is going to hold up. Anyway, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I don't believe we'll be in all of this. We all need a plan. Take this in prayer and ask God to show the way. But don't ignore the urgency of the times we live in. Yeah, something's supposed to happen tomorrow. Now, this is me talking again. Someone's saying, uh, according to a prophecy that Mike444 read on his channel, they're going to start poisoning the water starting on the coastlines. And if you drink the water out of your normal water source, that would be like your tap, you'll get boils. That's the prophecy. See, I just don't believe it's going to happen already. They may be planning something for tomorrow. Put something in the ocean and you go swimming, you might get boils. 
I don't know. I just, I didn't hear it. All I heard, saw was someone talking about it. I saw it. I read it. But not the whole, um, I did not read the whole prophecy. Because I don't believe it. God forgive me if it's one of your, if this is from one of your anointed, forgive me for thinking that you would, Take care of me and not let that happen. It's either that or our water won't harm us. It's one or the other. Either it's not true or it doesn't affect us. Even though I went ahead and ordered some water. I don't mind sharing. I'm just going to have to be able to multiply it. I don't have that gift yet. Because I'm not in my glorified body yet. So any minute now, maybe, maybe, maybe tonight or in a minute or in an hour, we get those who are first fruiters, first time rapturers, the barley harvest gets taken outside of time, put in their glorified bodies, we get our training. And get sent back in time to help. Now wouldn't that be something? You just got to have faith. God is going to take care of you. And I believe he will. But it says here. For those who don't like to take the chance. They don't have enough faith. So, uh, there are people like that. Or they just, they know God will take care of us, but in this situation, we are, you know, we may see some things. So she's saying here, tell people to call their local sheriff to get their web page of information as to what is available. When you know what your choices are, it's easier to make a plan. What was available yesterday is no longer available today. And this proves that our emergency services are really lacking. No doubt, this is why FEMA will step in. And I saw a video where it said FEMA camps are opening up. It was Lisa Haven. Pretty sure. I'm almost positive. And we know what that means. She says, no doubt, this is why FEMA will step in. And we know what that means. God help us all. Thank you and everyone else for all the heartfelt prayers. Greatly appreciated. And you are so welcome, Tricia. We love you. Everybody, I just believe that on my channel, most of you, you know who you are. You love everybody the way Jesus said. Let's see. And the second one is like it. To love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor. Who is your neighbor? Everybody. So. I will end this at that. And, um. We will continue to pray for the people in Oregon and California as their fires are raging. And I have no doubt, this is just like last year, these things are being spotted as, uh, what's the channel, what's the channel? Um, oh, strange name. Picked up the beams coming 
uh, from her to the fire had to be two. Anyway, um, I mentioned it yesterday, so they're they're starting them. They're they're choosing the areas they really want, and they're starting them. Okay, with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over every one of us. I pray for your safety wherever you are. And that we won't see most of this, as the Bible has promised in Luke 21, 36. Pray, <clears throat> excuse me, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Not just getting your vehicle and escape the fire not just escape getting boils because you bought enough water escape and stand before the son of man you see what I'm saying there's a difference just keep praying that you can be found worthy Keep repenting of those things you do wrong. Keep praying for everyone on your list. And pray general prayers for all the saints. We're to pray for all the saints, whoever they are. And love Jesus more than anybody. That's the most important. Spend more time with him. You make the time. Okay. Bye for now. I will talk to you later.